Okay, in this problem, uh, we've uh, got our work cut out for us. They're asking us to find the second partial with respect to x, the uh, second partial with respect to x and y, and the second partial with respect to y and x, and then finally, the second partial with respect to y, y. And so here's our uh, function up here, f of x, y, is equal to e to the 5xy. So let's work, on, uh, let's work on this one first. So when we take the second partials, First off, we're going to start with this one here. And that means that we need to first take the first partial with respect to x. Now, we take the derivative, remember, leaving y totally alone, treating it like it's a constant or a coefficient here in this case. And so the derivative of x is 1. And so we just rewrite 5y and then rewriting e to the 5xy. Now we're going to take that second partial with respect to x. So now we take the derivative of this thing with respect to x one more time. And so that means that, remember, the derivative of 5xy leaving y as though it's just a coefficient and so we have, we bring the 5y out front. And 5y times 5y becomes 25y squared e to the 5xy. Okay, that takes care of, of one of them. Now let's work on fxy. Well, we've already done the uh, partial with respect to x. Now we need to do the partial with respect to y. And so we look at this. Now, of course, we have a y here. And so this looks like this time we're going to have to use the product rule. And so we take the derivative of 5y, and derivative of 5y is just 5, and then rewriting the second function, e to the 5xy plus, now we're rewriting the 5y, and we're taking the derivative of e to the 5xy. Now, it's with respect to y this time, so you're going to treat x as though it's just a coefficient. You're not, you're just going to rewrite it. So the derivative of y in this case is 1, but then we just rewrite the 5x and bring it out front. And then we just rewrite. Okay, and of course we can clean this up a little bit by multiplying the 5 times the 5 together. It gives us 25xy e to the 5xy plus right, e to the 5xy. OK. Now, let's see. What's next? OK, the fyx. Well, we haven't taken the derivative, the first derivative of y. So we'll need to do that. All right, so we're going to have to scroll up the screen here and see what we got. OK, so let's see. With respect to y this time, that means leaving x alone, just rewriting. So we're going to bring the 5x out front. And then rewriting e to the 5xy. Now we have to take the derivative with respect to x. And that means, once again, the product rule. So the derivative of 5x is 5. And then we rewrite e to the 5xy plus, and then taking the derivative with respect to x, that means you're going to rewrite the y, the 5 and the x, or the 5 and the y. You're going to bring that out front. And uh, we're also rewriting that first part. So 5y, and then rewriting the whole thing again. e 
to the 5xy. And of course, we need to clean this up just a little bit. And so we have 25xy e to the 5xy. Okay, and uh, we have one more, and that was the second partial, yy, and so, so f of y, um, so we did this here, and so now what we need to do really is, I guess, just look at this, and now we need to take the derivative of this again with respect to y. So the derivative of y is 1, and so we take the 5x and we bring it out front, and that just becomes 25x squared e to the 5xy.